What the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can catch me on Twitter at Noah Moore Parties. And we're back with another Saturday football prize picks video. Um, I have two uh, 5x5 flex plays here. Uh, it's Jags Chiefs and it is Giants Eagles. Let's get into it. <laughs> The first line I like in the first flex play is Isaiah Pacheco, 8.5 receiving yards. I like the over. Pacheco is averaging 7.6 receiving yards per game this season, but 16.7 per game in the last two months, so nearly double this line. And prior to week 18, the last game the Chiefs played, I think he had zero receiving yards, but before that, he had at least 11 receiving yards in six straight games. The Jags gave up the second most receiving yards, two running backs, in the entire league, we need one screen pass, we need one check down. He's been doing this lately. The Jags do this all the time. Let's do it. Uh, the second line I like is Jake Elliott, 1.5 field goals. This is the Eagles kicker. He's averaging just under that this season at 1.3 per game, but 1.8 per game in the last two months. The Giants have given up the third most field goals made of any team in the league, more than two per game. The Eagles offense is good. Elliott's been kicking field goals lately. The Giants give up field goals to everybody. Let's do it. Uh, the third line I like is Devontae Smith, 5.0 receptions. He's averaging 5.6 per game this season. He currently is on a streak of three straight games with at least seven receptions and six straight games with at least five receptions. So he hasn't been below this line in, what is that, like seven weeks? Uh, he's averaging 9.2 targets per game since week 10. That's more than A.J. Brown, and the Giants are a bottom 10 defense in receptions given up to wide receivers, we have a catch machine against a blah defense. I don't know. I like it. Uh, the next line I like is Saquon Barkley, 98 and a half scrimmage yards. I like the over. He's averaging 103 per game this season. I don't even know if I've been saying if I like the over or not. I like the over on Pacheco. I like the over on Jake Elliott. I like the over on Devontae Smith. And I like the over on Saquon Barkley because he's averaging 103 scrimmage yards per game this season, 109 yards in three of his last four games. The Eagles give up the fourth most rushing yards to running backs. Saquon Barkley is a running back. He should have some success on the ground, but he's also averaging 33 receiving yards per game in the last month. So whether they're in check down mode late in the game, in two minute drill, he's been getting his receiving production regardless. And this is, I don't want to say they're weak. They're not weak. They're professional football players. They're susceptible to being run on by running backs. And Saquon Barkley is a running back. Uh, so there we go. The next line I like is A.J. Brown, 70.5 receiving yards. I like the over. Um, he's averaging 88 per game this season and has gone over this line in four straight games and in five of his last six. And the only game in that six game span in which he missed this line, he missed it by a single yard. So A.J. Brown is good and has been productive. And I think we should anticipate that Continuing. Uh, the next line I like, this is actually the, the next five. Honorable mentions, second flex play, whatever. Uh, this is the next five. The first of the next five is Jarek McKinnon, 33 and a half receiving yards. I like the over. He's gone over this line in three of his last five games, uh, has 31 or more yards. So the game in which he had 31, he missed this by what, like three yards, but 31 or more yards in four of his last five games. The Jags are the second worst in giving up receiving yards to running backs. It's January, which means it's time for, for January Jarek. This, he shows up in the playoffs. He shows up in the Super Bowl to put the Chiefs over the top. It's time for January Jarek in a juicy matchup. I like it. Uh, the second line I like is Travis Etienne, 17 and a half receiving yards. I like the over here as well. He's averaging 18.2 per game this season, 22.8 per game in the last five weeks, and has hit this line three times in that span. And the Chiefs, again, bottom four in the passing game against running backs. We got a lot of weak passing games against running backs in this on this slate. So I like a lot of uh, receiving yards lines for running backs. Travis Etienne is no different. The next line I like is Harrison Butker, 8.0 kicking points. I like the under. We love unders. We love overs around here, but unders need some love. And I like this under. He's averaging 7.2 points per game this season, has gone under this line in four straight games. He has eight or more points in just four of his games all season. And the Jags defense is fringed. I think they're sixth. Fringe bottom five in like passing yards given up. Like you can throw on them. The Chiefs have a guy named Patrick Mahomes who can throw on anybody. So I think they're going to be able to move the ball against this Jaguars defense. And the Jags defense is bottom 10 
in red zone, like efficiency in touchdowns given up in the red zone. So the Chiefs are going to be able to get the ball to the red zone. They're going to be able to score when they get there. Harrison Butker doesn't hit this line with regularity anyway. I like him to go under it this week. Uh, the next line I like is Saquon Barkley, 0.5 touchdowns. I like the over. He scored in 11 of his 17 games this season, including three of his last four. The Eagles give up a slightly above average amount of touchdowns to running backs, but Saquon is just the Giants' best player. He scores uh, more often than not this season. They're going to need him to have a good game, uh, so I like him to score. And the last line is MVS, Marquez Valdez Scantling, 32 and a half receiving yards. I like the under. Uh, I know he's fast. I know he's got Mahomes. I know he could go over this in one play, but he could have gone over this in one play in any of the last four weeks, but he hasn't gone over any of the last, I don't know, longer than four weeks, but he hasn't gone over 28 yards since December 4th. I think that's a Jay-Z song. And the Jags are top 10 in yards given up to wide receivers. Top 10 meaning 10 fewest. So decent secondary, at least against wide receivers. MVS doesn't do anything lately, at least, you know, I like the under. So there it is. The second 5x5. Five five. McKinnon receiving yards over. ETN receiving yards over. Butker kicking points under. Barkley touchdowns over. MVS receiving yards under. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful Saturday. See you next time. Peace.